I couldn't ask for a better agent, for a better company in a time like this, in a disaster where you have no idea where to start. I learned that there's not a given in life. It takes a team. There's people that are gonna watch out for us and that care. It's been pretty stressful. Once we uh, saw Lori and got our plan, it's, uh, it's a lot better now. It was uh, a like better. a huge weight lifted. Welcome back to the Central Bank of the Ozarks High School Game Day here on the Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. The segment brought to you by Country Financial, Country Financial in Springfield, see Rashad Taylor. Also presented by Great Southern Bank, Labor's Local 663, who reminds us to drive safely in work zones. Everybody wants to go home safe. The Bank of Billings, established 1889, the oldest bank in Christian County. Doak Propane, located right here in Bolivar, Missouri. For all your pro propane needs, see the folks at Doak. And we go down to uh, Morrisville and Marion Hill High School baseball coach Jason Gross. And coach, hey, thanks for your time today. Thank you. Coach, uh, kind of talk a little bit about the uh, the season up to this point, including the districts. And at one point in districts, uh, I think in maybe the semifinal game, you found you guys found yourselves down seven to two and able to fight back and get a uh, a walk-off win, but kind of put a bow on the season for us. Uh, yeah, overall, we've had a, a really good year. 19-4 uh, and four right now. Just beat Robe in the district championship game. Uh, like you said, we in the semis, we played, uh, quite frankly, really bad baseball. Um, and But found a way to win. Um, and at this time in, in the year, it's uh, doesn't have to be pretty. You just got to find a way to win. Um, played much better in the district championship and got our program's fifth consecutive district. Coach, going back, you know, going back through that district, you take on a, a very good uh, Ash Grove team who's probably going to be a uh, be back again next year. They're very young. Kind of take us through that game and what was maybe the turning point. Um, we. We had our, our ace available, um, and they had their ace available as well. Um, we knew it was going to be uh, a pitcher's duel, um, and, and honestly, we, we didn't hit the ball particularly great. Um, we got a couple big hits from this that tall guy right there. Where is he? Over here. A uh, couple big hits from him. Um, Tristan Bregman, my our, our uh, number one, threw a really good game. Um, played great defensively. Um, again, it is, we did, like I said, didn't hit the ball particularly great. We got some big hits, pitched the ball well, played great D and, um, we did have stats, um, you know, again, the, didn't have many runners, uh, just a, a good, good way to, to enter. You've won eight in a row now and kind of talk about the season and the, just the stressful part of it where you. Uh, I think you had maybe a dozen games that were, you know, postponed because of, of rain. Uh, what, what did that do to you, and how did you overcome that? Um, it wasn't really anything to overcome. It's just everybody had to deal with it, um, unless you had turf. Um, you know, it's just control what you can. Can't worry about the weather, not being on play. Um, we went late in the year. We went one whole week without, without playing. Um, but again, a lot of people were dealing with the same thing. Um, you know, overall, the you know we've had we've had to deal with some adversity this year. Um, had a couple varsity starters from the beginning um, become ineligible because of grades, and we had some people have to step up and, and play different spots. And um, but you know, again, it's just next man up mentality, and we've done a good job and, and dealt with it. And uh, you know, we're looking forward to. Monday against Marionville. You take on uh, Marionville uh, on Monday, and that that game will be at Morrisville, if I understand. Correct. Okay. What uh, what does that do for you having that uh, game at, at home? I know they'll still do the coin flip for the home team, but at least 
you know, playing on your home field has got to be uh, be somewhat of an advantage or something you can take take advantage of. Yeah, um, we hope so. Um, obviously, uh, you know, you, you practice on your own field every day, um, and you kind of know how the baseball hops, uh, you know, balls off the fence, what they do, um, how the ball travels. Uh, so we'll have that advantage. But again, I, honestly, I don't think it'll be a huge a huge. Um, they're going to bring a lot of fans. We're going to have a ton of fans. We just got to play better baseball than they do. As you look back on this season and where you're at right now, what are some things you feel like you're doing really well uh, as a team? Uh, pitching. Uh, we are pitching it great. Um, overall, we have played really good defense, um, which after our fall season, um, we thought our offense was going to be our strong point. Uh, we, we thought we'd pitch it pretty well. Um, the defense was not as good in the fall as it is now. Um, we have, you know, not, not swung it as well as we did in the fall. Again, we played tougher competition in the spring, but, um, we are pitching it again. We didn't pitch bad in the fall, but we were pitching it way better than we were. Uh, and we're defending it really well. And if you do those two things in baseball games, you're always going to have a chance to win. Coach, you've got, uh, apparently a majority of your team there, there, yeah, uh, I think all my, all uh, I think we're missing one varsity starter, but everybody else is here. Yeah. You might, uh, you know, introduce each of them and just tell a little bit about them and what they do for you. Okay. Um, well, let me – I'm all backwards here. Um, Landon Burrows in the front. You can just raise your hand. He uh, He's our center fielder, sophomore. Hayden Madewell right there. He's our senior shortstop and uh, one of our top pitchers. Jacob Presley. Um, he plays short and third and pitches for us. Isaac Franska, raise your hand there. Oh, the other way. <laughs> uh, outfield, left fielder uh, in the back, Ben Lewis. Ben, there's Ben. Uh, he plays right field for us. Next to him, Colby Pelham. Uh, he plays first base. Next to him, Chance Hampton, another one of our seniors. Uh, he plays kind of all over the place, uh, catches and plays third. Um, and we're missing one guy. He's he's not in this class, but his his uh, his name's Connor Stockton. He plays second base for us. Very good. Well, uh, you know, and, and I oh, yeah. hold on. Any, okay. I forgot. I forgot our uh, ace pitcher over here. He was in, in the camera. <laughs> Tristan Brigman. Um, he he catches and, and pitches. Very nice. What? Well, and any of the seniors can answer this, but you know, as you as you look back, you get, you've got back to back. Uh, district titles. What 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 about this year special? Uh, being able to do it your senior year. Oh, you too. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think the biggest thing with this year is that we lost a lot of seniors last year, and everyone said that we was losing that many, like six seniors, we weren't going to be very good. So we kind of went into this season with a mindset of bet. That's what we always broke down to every day. So they said we weren't going to be good bet, and uh, it's kind of it feels good to be to be able to go against what everybody said. As you look back on this season, was there, uh, you know, maybe one or two particular games that you were really looking forward to as a team? Maybe it's a rivalry game. Maybe it's somebody that got you uh, a year ago or something like that. Were, were there games you were really um, looking forward to? This one coming up. Um, they ended our season last year, uh, and we've been talking about it since last summer. Um, we figured both of us would be right back here. Um, you know, and honestly, you know, we, we really have been talking about it uh, since the season ended, uh, wanting to be able to play them again um, and get some revenge. Um, but as far as rivalry games go, we're – I don't know what you guys consider our rival. I mean, um, Ash Grove's always a really good game. You know, they're kind of close to us. Um, you know, we, we enjoy competing against them. Um, I don't know what you guys think. Anybody else, really? Everybody. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey, we, yeah, these boys just want to beat everybody we play. So, very good, very good. Well, coach, what do you what do you got planned between now and, and Monday uh, when you when it go when it when you go out there for real? Uh, we are preparing to beat um, Kale Clark. Uh, we know we're going to see him on the mound, and we're we're putting together a game plan, and um, and hopefully uh, going to be able to have some success against him. Um, we know he's good. Um, you know, we, we respect the fact that he is, but we're, we're going to be prepared and 
um, you know, excited to compete against them um, and, and knock off the, the state champs. And again, we're visiting with Marion C. Early Panthers head baseball coach Jason Gross and, and some of the players. And, Coach, tell us just a little bit about your background. How, you know, where'd you go to high school, college, and how long have you been at Morrisville? Um, went to high school uh, in Rolla. Um, played baseball at Westminster College. Um, this is my 11th year being a head coach, second year. Um, I was actually at Marionville for four. Um, so it'll be even even sweeter. Um, um, long story, but anyway, um, <laughs> it, it, we, we want to beat them. So Very good. Well, Coach, I certainly appreciate you guys being generous with your time here during the postseason and a, a postseason run. And, and uh, best of luck on Monday. And I think we're going to try and uh, get down and, and take that contest in. And, and I hope the weather works out. I think, I think the weather is supposed to hold off until Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, I think so. Week. so. Hopefully you've got, uh, you've got great uh, sunshiny skies to play under there at, uh, at Morrisville. I hope so. Yeah. Look, looks like uh, Monday's dry. So hopefully we get it in. You bet. Well, gentlemen, hey, congratulations on a great season and Country Financial Team of the Week, and we'll be out there on, on Monday and, and watch you take on the Comets. Thank you. You bet. Appreciate You're it. Watching. You bet. You're watching the Missouri Sports Network at MissouriSportsNetwork.com. And as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here tomorrow. And as always, keep it at the Missouri Sports Network.